The FBI says they've found an item of interest in the search for missing mother, Crystal Rogers. Now in day four, agents in Bardstown have narrowed their focus on a specific driveway in the Woodlawn Springs subdivision. WHS 11 Shane McAllister continues to cover Bardstown. News of that discovery from the FBI making this search feel even more real for the Ballard family, the community, and even the Nelson County Sheriff, who worked this case for five years before the FBI took the lead. I'm getting goosebumps, and uh, at the end of the day, like I said, uh, it doesn't matter who solves it as long as it gets solved. From five houses down, the Nelson County Sheriff is doing his part running a roadblock, you, protecting the integrity of the FBI's investigation. Until uh, the FBI tells us they're done, we're here for the long haul. We don't know what the FBI found at the search site, only that it's an item of interest recovered from underneath the driveway on a property with ties to Brooks Houck. Houck owned the property when Crystal Rogers went missing. He has since sold it, according to public records. It's also the same property where a cadaver dog hit, while Team Crystal searched the spot five years ago. The fact that they're back searching in that area tells me maybe we had a clue, but we just couldn't find what we were looking for. Sherry Ballard shared that on Tuesday day one of what has now turned into a four day search. Every day she says the hope intensifies, but so does the fear. She and everyone else watching this case want to see real action, real answers. It's not about the Nelson County Sheriff's Office. It's not about the FBI. It's about closer to the family and uh, putting the people uh, behind uh, bars uh, at the end of the day. When it comes to accountability, the FBI had a not so subtle message writing they know there are people in this community who have information on Crystal's disappearance and the time to come forward is now. And it's not only Crystal's family closely watching this search today. I also spoke with Jason Ellis's family. His sisters tell us they are watching every new development coming from this site. They told us that they truly believe answers in Crystal's case could lead to answers in his case as well. In Bardstown, I'm Shay McAllister.